Hello, and welcome to the Before You Start video for Tecalumet's HD Manager 8 for the Wonderbox and Superbox devices. The first thing that we want to do before you start is we want to make sure that the software settings have the correct units. Begin by navigating to Settings, Settings again, select Units, and then select the units that you'll be using. In our case, we're using gallons, miles, inches, and we want two decimal places. If for some reason you need pints, quarts, liters, etc., you'll select that here and then exit out. The second thing that you want to make sure is that all of your devices are wired correctly and powered on. The Wonderbox wiring diagram should look like this, and your Superbox should look like this if it's correctly wired. Please pause the video and take a look at that just to confirm that everything is correct. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the nozzle activation switch for both the Superbox and the Wonderbox is set to the appropriate setting. If you're not using a nozzle activation switch, this needs to be off. It will affect the pump's ability to turn on. If you are using a nozzle activation switch, make sure you have the correct setting on. Begin by navigating to the back menu of the Wonderbox. Do this by selecting 9 five times followed by Enter. Then scroll down until you see System, then select Refuel Options, and scroll down until you see Nozzle Switch. No or Yes. This is important because from factory it comes as Yes. If the Nozzle Switch is activated, then that means that the pump won't turn on until the Nozzle Switch has had the nozzle removed out of it. It's important to make sure this is set to no, press enter, and then exit out of the menu. That's how you make sure that Tecalumet's Wonderbox nozzle switch is turned off. To change the nozzle switch on Tecalumet's Superbox, begin by navigating to the back menu, pressing one of the top buttons, then pressing the wrench, putting in the master code, five nines, selecting enter. Then scroll down until you see Menu, Dispense Point, select Enter. On this, you can see if you scroll down, you see the nozzle switch. If you press Enter, you can see currently it's set to no switch. Normally open, normally closed. Select whichever one you need, typically no switch. Scroll to the next dispense point and repeat this process. Here we have it set to normally open. We're going to set it to no switch so we don't have an issue. Continue this process for all the dispense points, and just like that, you've changed the settings on the automatic nozzle for the Superbox.